Hello guys, welcome to my garage. This is my phone, as you can see, and I've just fixed the screen on it, and it looks pretty damn good. Uh, the screen has held up pretty good, so, um, yeah, I've got no complaints about that. Sorry, I'm just going to work some tape. Um, I've got no complaints about that, but I have one little thing, and that is that uh, there's a little cable antenna, th uh, antenna cable thingy going down here in the phone, and there's a little connector over here. Yeah, um, I gotta admit, I already replaced it with a one that is actually not really, that doesn't really fit in this model. But it kind of fits. Uh, because I thought uh, that they wouldn't come in the mail anymore. But, <laughs> they arrived yesterday. Yep. That's uh, connectors. So, you might be like, oh my god, you didn't actually just purchase little connectors, did ya? Oh yeah, yeah I did. Yep, these are little tiny connectors uh, for antenna flex cables and all that stuff. So, I'm going to show you how to replace them on your phone really cheap. Because some people have them on their main motherboard. And um, they can buy just another motherboard. But they can solder or, you know, you can maybe solder. Uh, maybe you're watching this video for entertainment. But if you're watching this to do this yourself, it is really easy. You need a couple of things. First, you purchase these. Links, is in the, uh, links are in the description. I'm not sponsored by the way, I'm just uh, showing you a place to get them for a dollar or two. And you get five of them so you can mess up. Um, you can also use a microscope if you have one. Go around, ask your parents, family, brother, sister, whatever you have. Just get a microscope if you have one in the family or, or, or maybe a friend. Get one if you can because they're gonna be a lifesaver. Now, second thing is get a heat gun from the dollar store or something. One that you can kind of control and a little bit of aluminium foil, a couple of other stuff, some soldering equipment, but it's really basic. You don't really need a lot. I'm just going to start with the beginning and if you want to follow me along, I would suggest you to first watch the video once and then do it in, because so, so you can make sure you have everything ready. Um, but I'm just going to show you it. This is a bit of a quicker video today, but you know, I just want to get this done. I don't have much time today, so normally I take 20 minutes. Um, of video time, but this time maybe not. I'm not too sure. Alright, so I will be working on this cardboard because this is a pretty disgusting and nasty table. I agree with you if you think that. Um, so this is the phone, it's a Lenovo one. Uh, I will also be replacing the thermal paste, by the way. That's kind of important to me because uh, the thermal paste is quite hard and I don't like that very much. You need a little magnet or something uh, to keep your screws in one place. A little screwdriver to get all the screws out. I'll just do that for now. I will just do that now. First, by the way, don't forget to remove your little SIM card and SD card. And then you start removing the screws. Quite easy. So when you're done with removing the screws for the back of your phone, you want to make sure and see if your phone is off. <laughs> I completely forgot. I am a little bit in too much of a hurry today. I gotta calm down a little bit. I'm not that much in a hurry. Oopsie. <laughs> Better now than, no, than just never, right? So, I'm gonna turn off the phone. There you go. So, when that's off, you can pop the back off or whatever you need to do to do that. Just make sure all the screws are out. And you can go ahead. Alright, so that was pretty easy. Uh, you just take it off. And as you can see, there are little connectors and thingies over here. So you want to be a bit careful with it. And uh, I'm just uh, going to put it aside. There we go. At this point, you might want to make sure to disconnect your battery. Here's the battery connector. And you want to make sure that you disconnect it. Like so, bend it up a little bit, not too much, otherwise you'll damage it. And um, I'm also gonna disconnect some of these other little thingies over here, like let's say the digitizer. I'm gonna disconnect that one. Because I gotta be underneath this board soon. The button ribbon connector thingy. And the LCD connector. I wanna 
disconnect that too. To disconnect these things, if they didn't disconnect themselves, you just want to get under the connector part itself and you just pop it off like that. Easy, no damage whatsoever if you do it carefully. So this is the main board itself. Uh, looks pretty straightforward for me. To me, I'm just going to pop off the cameras just for easier reattachment of stuff and I'm going to put that board to this side next thing that I will do is just remove these little connectors over here again be careful and go under the part that's above like as you can see there's a little part that sticks out there's a little part here that's connected and that part sticks out you can go underneath that and pop it off like that no damage whatsoever that's the wrong connector because here is a bigger flatter one and here is a smaller taller one we don't want that get a screwdriver and remove the screws to uh, get in the to get to the circuit board that you want to uh, replace the connector on if you can afford I mean Yes, you might look at this board and you might go, mm, that's like five bucks for that whole board. True, true, but uh, why would I want to replace a whole board? Uh, no, no, I don't feel like doing that. So, yeah, I feel like replacing a connector. So you just um, gently remove this little connector thingy over here that I also repaired. <laughs> and... There we go. Alright, so this is the board that we're interested in. Now, to protect this whole board from heat, as we will be using a heat gun, you don't want to melt everything. And there's plastic on there and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we get some aluminium foil. This stuff is extremely cheap, really handy in the kitchen and for work. Now, you don't want to plug it in, of course, with aluminium foil around it, but that's not what we're going to do. We're just going to solder it, so that should be completely fine. So we just get a little bit. And mine is right at the edge, which is really nice, but you might have to fold and do a little stuff, but yeah, it's gonna be fine. Uh, just gonna go around, protect some of the connectors. There you go, as you can see, don't have, it doesn't have to look pretty, as long as it works, uh, then it is good. I'm just gonna get it in a little bit like that and just... Uh, I want some extra protection. So I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna just use that to guide the heat from the aluminium foil to that. You can use an, a steel plate or an iron plate or an aluminium plate, it doesn't really matter as long as you get something, should be fine. So I'm going to be focusing onto that little connector over there, there we go. And I'm going to get a heat gun. My heat gun has a little tip on it. You might be like, well I don't have a little tip to direct the air and I don't want to heat the whole board. You can just use a little bit of uh, aluminum foil, get a little bit of a cone shape with an air uh, vent at the top over here and get a cone shape all around the thing just to guide the air a little bit. It doesn't have to be the greatest thing, uh, you just want it to be quite cheap and it to work quite well. Go over at your dollar store, wherever you can get some stuff, uh, you can get it maybe at medical stores and get a pair of pliers uh, one of these if you get like stuff in your skin that you know like uh, let's say a piece of wood or something you you pull this out with it you know just just go around and pull that out of your hand that's what these are for uh, but you can use them very well to pick it up and uh, move it around you're gonna need these uh, I'm pretty sure but they're really cheap you can buy them for a dollar or two and uh, doesn't cost the world at all. Now get your heat gun ready, this is gonna make a bit of noise, I'm sorry. And just get a temperature at which solder melts at. So this one is a bit broken, so I set it to 500 degrees and that's just enough to melt solder. This one is completely broken, but it will get the job done. There we go, that's it. Be very careful with the tip of those tweezers. They are extremely hot. You don't want to touch them at all. Now that is done, you can remove all of this heatsink stuff. One thing that I forgot to say, and this is why I mentioned uh, watching the video first before doing this. Um, I forgot to say that while you remove it, you want to keep it in your plier, in your tweezers, I mean. Uh, 
and then you want to look at the bottom and there is a little one and a small tab like a little tab and a small tab and that actually makes connection over here as you can see see there's a little tab over here and a small tab over there will be much easier to see in person but that you want to see where it uh, a bigger tab points to because that's easier to see with your eyes and if it points to the left like mine you want to put your new connector on with the bigger tab to the left just note that down or mark it whatever um, it's just easy to uh, it's just an easy way if you just put it off and just look so you know it and that's just 100% sure that it works and otherwise you'll have to open your phone again and that's just nah, too much hassle I will now have to remove the cardboard because I will be soldering onto this and I will be using a microscope and a microscope doesn't like wobbles at all so I will have to use something quite sturdy for that I've just wrapped it in some uh, aluminium tape just to protect it uh, really from the table because it's a nasty table and now I'm going to tape it down to the desk and then I can solder onto it. It's really easy. You want to get your soldering iron. And um, yeah, it's uh, quite nice what I can see. What you can guys can see through there is pretty bad. So we will not really talk about that. I'm going to get some solder and get some good solder. Like some uh, lead solder in my, my preferences. And you just want to clean those pads up really good all right so i removed some of the solder or solder whatever you say sorry for moving you guys around so much i removed some of the solder it looks good um and i will just place on a new connector as you can see i'll just get one out really quick nice there we go i got one out <laughs> uh four remaining good awesome all right so the little left thingy goes there and uh, yeah, that looks uh, really good. I already made a jump away, guys. First connector, I jumped away. Down. Oh my, guys, I found the connector. It's right here. Oh, oh no, that's the old connector. No, that's the wrong connector. That's the one that we just soldered off. Damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I found it! It's on the board! Yeah, that's the connector! Haha! <laughs> found it! It's all good, guys! Found it! We're gonna do it! Alright, guys, we're just gonna try it again! He's gonna rotate my hand. Okay. I just pushed onto the connector and the connector was a bit soft. Okay. That that's alright. <laughs> that <laughs> that happens. That happens sometimes. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna dis desolder this one. Alright. The connector got a little too soft. So this is why you should always order a bit more than you think you're gonna need. Okay, there we go. Alright, it's going good, alright? It's going good. Okay, okay, good. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. You know what? I would say that that is good. Ooh, I just gotta do a little bit of cleaning up. That's all. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to clean up the board and then I guess we will see. So what you want to do now is get an old toothbrush and a little bit of cleaning alcohol. Something like 70% or higher should be fine. And uh, yeah. And then you just gently scrub it with cleaning alcohol. The connector seems to fit. So let's put the phone back together. Um, yeah, I'm going to replace the thermal paste really quick. So be right back. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I think it's in. I'm going to place the board in. Alright, so that clips in. So then I will just screw in this little platey thingy and should be all good. Alright, camera's in. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm just going to screw these screws in and that should really be it. Uh, 
Okay. The last screw will be this one. And uh, the phone should work. So, yeah, that's it. So I'm just gonna uh, put my SIM card back in. See if it turns on. It does. And let's see if we get reception. We do! We have got a reception! It works! It works, guys! Awesome! It works! Everything should be working! So, awesome! So if you follow along at home, let me know down in the comments if you have any problems. I will uh, sure see if I can help you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!